isn't our purpose. Anyone that knows me knows that. I've never been guilty of ever commercializing Jesus Christ. And I, I don't believe in that. If you want any tapes, Brother Mercer, Brother Goldberg, you're as ever tapes. They're making records also for your record players. For any of the messages, anything you want. Brother Leo and Gene has them at the book stand each night. The concession stands are there. We never solicit selling tapes. We never solicit selling anything. Sometimes in a big meeting, they'll announce they got some books back there. We don't make anything out of them. Brother Dale's a writer. The tapes, the man that operates the tape business there will tell you, we don't make no tape money. We don't take the tapes, it's the message. And by the way, those pictures are here now, and the books and tapes, this is the last night of getting them in the meeting, cause we don't sell on Sunday. And so we made a policy never to sell on Sunday. You can give them your order and they can send it to you, but we won't sell. But I'm not a tape salesman. I, the, Mr. Softman here sells tapes, him and Mr. McGuire, but I don't sell tapes, they take them. Now, tonight would be the last night on the tapes. You people have tape machines and like to hear your name and what the Spirit said to you in the line. Well, the Mercer here. One of my associates in the meeting, he's a, a recorder, and Brother Gold, they take these tapes and the books and so forth. Now, tomorrow they won't have them because we've never permitted them to sell or do any translation of business like that on Sunday. Now, we don't have nothing to sell. Well, I'll take that back. The boys has the books and tapes and the pictures, I think, and so forth in the back of the building, and they're I buy those books. Brother Gordon Lindsay prints those books and I buy them for 40 cents less than I have to sell them, then pay for them. My boys here, I call them my boys, they're tape artists. And they sell the books. Now those books we buy, they're not ours. We buy those books at 40 cents off. And then haul them out and sell them to the people just so the message gets out. Mr. Lindsay prints that book. And um, the boys make tapes. These two boys, Mr. Mercer and Mr. Goad, are fine boys. And don't tape it. If you do, don't sell the tape. Don't let it get out. I want to explain the real truth of marriage and divorce. It's a question, and this is the last hours, that when all the mysteries of God should be finished. Now, speaking of tapes and so forth, some people has been asking me, where can we get the messages? Now these messages here hasn't been very much because it's hoarse and, and I've been tired and lots ahead of me and things that the world knows nothing about. I'm not a tape salesman and I don't uh, yeah, stress those things. We get them and we got a tape business around the world, way into the jungles and everywhere they have little something you put in the ears they got and can tape it into the tape and stand there and translate that right into the language and it goes around the world. Little books in here, kind of the boys has got explains that if you could get one and if you have, I think they sell them right reasonable. They're printed by the Voice of Healing and then they're, we take them and bring them out to the people, buy them at 40 cents less on the book, 40% less. And then we have the handling charges besides that. I'm not a book salesman. I don't, I don't sell books, friends. If I didn't think that would help you, I wouldn't say one word about it and wouldn't even have it published or permitted to be published. And they're not my books. I buy them at 40% off and bring them here and sell them to you. And by the way, those pictures are here now and the books and tapes, this is the last night of getting them in the meeting because we don't sell on Sunday. And so we made a policy never to sell on Sunday. You can give them your order and they can send it to you, but we won't sell. I see they got the books here and the, the picture of the angel of the Lord. I, folks, I am not a book salesman or a picture salesman. I don't do that. What about the tapes? Now, as, what about the tapes? Got a question mark. As many are writing the office and blaming you for that. 
action on the tapes. Also about others around the church selling tapes. If Mr. McGuire has to pay royalties on them. Um, here, uh, because of a vision, and if any of you has ever taken any of the tapes, I'm not a tape salesman. Of course, we have a tape business around the world. But if you ever bought a tape from me, or not from me, but from Mr. McGuire, he's here somewhere taking tapes this morning, I suppose. Get that one. What time is it, sir? Brother Mercer and Brother Gold is here somewhere. And this is a closing night. They have their tapes and the uh, meetings and the sermons and the messages on both record and tape. The books and pictures at that table in the back. Is this that little switch that censors them tapes? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I better censor this whole thing. <laughs> it's not <laughs> sent it out. <laughs> because it's pretty rude. <laughs> but I'll say this. So is it, tapes being made now? Don't sell these tapes. See, these tapes are not for sale. They can be passed around through the church or so forth, but because it'll cause confusion as sure as the world. See?